on the eighth Sunday of Christmas, my demo shared with me a sweet little Hershey nugget box. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Holds three Hershey nuggets, all decorated for the season um, with a little bow and a gift tag, all ready to go. Let's see how easy this is to make. It really is easier than you think. To start, we will need one piece of whatever color cardstock you want to make your box from. So I'm choosing Evening Evergreen, and I need one piece that is three and a half by five inches. Here's five, here's three and a half. Then I need a piece that is three inches by five inches. So again, this is five. So I, I need one, this is five. So I need another measurement that is three inches. And this is going to be the top. This is the wrap around piece. This is going to be the piece that holds your nuggets. Now, when I'm making boxes, I tend to use my Simply Scored board. I'm gonna bring that in. I just think it, the scoring is better with this. It gives a deeper score, so it makes the folding easier. There's a stylus in the bottom, and I wanna get close so you can see, so I, I'm sorry you can't see the whole board. But up here at the top, there are measurements. And what I'm going to do here on this bottom is I'm going to score at one and a half and one inches on all four sides. I mean, at half an inch, sorry, half an inch and one inch. I'm going to rotate it half an inch and I put my stylus in this groove and then I just draw it down and at one inch. Half an inch one inch and for the last time half an inch oops half an inch and one inch okay. on the other piece i'm going to score at one and five eighths so that's that one tick mark past the one and a half and then at two and one eighth at three and three quarters and four and one quarter. I'm done scoring so I can set that aside now. I'm going to have the diagram of this on my blog because it will be easier for you to see where I'm cutting. I think you can see some of the score lines here. I am going to cut off this rectangle right here. And this square. And I'm going to do that on all the sides. There's lots of different ways you can do this. You'll find out what works best for you. I tend to just know that I need to take these three squares off. So you have something that looks like that. Now, if you have the, if you are holding the, it so the long way goes this way, you now want to, oh, I need to trim this a little bit. I didn't trim it all off, I guess. 
You definitely want to make sure you're getting the whole line. Okay, and then I want to cut down just to that next score line. So this is a little tab, and I'm going to do that. And you're coming in from the long sides. All right. Okay. So now it's time to fold on your score lines. So I'm going to fold on all my score lines. And using a bone folder helps get your lines nice and crisp, which is what you want. Makes your box go together a lot nicer, easier. Now these four tabs here get adhesive and you can use the green glue if you want to. That is not quite as immediate in a hold because you have to, you'll have to you know wait for it. I'm just going to use regular seal. And it's easiest if you put the seal on first. Let's see. There we go. You don't, um, I can see that I didn't trim all the line off that. So there we go. Notice how I'm folding it in. And that's the part that I'm, I don't want to put the adhesive here. I want to put it what's basically on the other side. So we're going to have this, but you're you're folding in and attaching. So you're squaring up your corners here. So those tabs that have the adhesive, you're just joining those sides. Okay. Then you're going to fold over this top edge and fold over this long top edge and then fold the ends in. You don't need adhesive. If you want to put on adhesive, you can, but it really, you know, it, it kind of holds itself in there very nicely. And on this piece, you're just going to fold and burnish on the score lines. Once you've got this folded, you're going to take this longest end and you're going to put tear and tape on that end. And you want the one that's the one that's the widest here if you don't want a seam to show, which I assume you don't want. So go ahead and put your box in upside down. And you're just going to fold this over. And there's your little matchboxy type type holder. Now it's time to decorate. To decorate, we're going to bring in some designer series paper. Here's a pretty pattern from Painted Christmas. And I need a piece that measures two and three quarters by five inches. Here's two and three quarters. And if I turn this, here's my five inches. You don't have to score this. The paper is thin enough so that you can actually make it work. I'm going to pull my box back out here. And in order to wrap this around and fit it to the box, it works best if you actually put the Hershey Nuggets in, in first. And we're not done with these. I mean, you can keep them like this. I have the assorted bag. So it's got most, um, there's a couple of gold wrapped ones and then a silver and a bronze. Or brass, what are the, I don't know. But it, the box is sturdier with the nuggets in it, just making this process a little bit easier. 
I'm going to fit one of the ends with some tear and tape. I'm not going to take it off yet though. Here's the top. So this is going to be the bottom. I will want to have my, my top piece, my piece with the adhesive on it to come about there. I'm going to straighten things up. And then I'm just going to pinch this around. Lift it nice and tight. Pinch it around. I'll straighten it up when I get over here. So I'm just creasing the edges as it's wrapped around. Then I can go ahead and take this Piece of off, backing off, and fold it around, and making sure that the edges line up nicely. And so there is our cute little nugget box. Let me see. I'm gonna just center, center this here, so it's a nice tight fit. And you can open it. Okay, we do need to decorate it. Now, I not only have to decorate the outside, but I like to decorate the nuggets inside. As I mentioned on one of my other videos, I used to do this a lot with labels and, and just strips of paper that I'd stamped on. But our designer series paper is so pretty that you can certainly do this. And you need a piece that is about three inches long and one inch wide. I'm using the one inch mark over here. Let's see if you can see. Getting a little crowded on my desk space here. So because the nuggets are three in a box, I need three strips. And I think I am going to actually wrap them different ways. It's two-sided, so I can do that. I'm gonna wrap this around. And just adhere that there. So that was my outside on that one. My outside is going to be the other side on this one. Just some little contrast touches. Oop, I want this on that. I want this upside down, sorry. There we go, there's another one. And some people actually uh, put adhesive on both ends and adhere it to the wrapper too. I don't find that that's usually very necessary. Especially once the nuggets are in the box, they're kind of you know they're all set let's let's alternate this oh look how cute that looks in there put that in there nice little piece now you can decorate this however you'd like obviously i'm gonna do a really quick and easy decoration i'm gonna bring in my double oval punch and I need a piece of scrap of basic white and evening evergreen. I'm gonna take my tidings and trimming set that has a nice little two from, oops, that's the dies. I don't need the dies, I need the, I need the stamp. Okay, put this on here. And in keeping with our color scheme, I'm going to stamp in Evening Evergreen. Two from. I think what I also want to do, but I'm going to wait a second, is I want to put a little decoration on this as well. But I'm going to take my punch, use it upside down so I can see that everything's lined up nicely. 
Maybe I'll go a little bit closer over there. All right. So I just needed a skinny strip. And then I'll do the same. Let's see if this is what it's not wide enough to go that way. I'll just punch the evening evergreen scallop. So we have a nice little tag. You can adhere that directly there. I'm going to show you a couple of options. One of the options is, oh, I said I was going to stamp on this, right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to take just one of these little vine or branch pieces from this set. I'm going to bring in a, a coordinating color. I think I'm going to bring in soft succulent. And I want this to be very, very subtle. So I'm going to stamp off and let's see. Uh, this is just a scrap I'm not gonna use. So I'm just gonna stamp off and put just a little bit of something in the background here. Just decorate it a little bit. Keeps it from being stark white. Although there's no problem with it being that way as well. I'm gonna adhere this. There, nice little tag. Now I can bring this box in and I can take a piece of ribbon and tie it around. I'm not cutting this for a reason. One thing, I try to avoid cutting it until I have to, to save on some ribbon. So I have that. There. This is probably what I'm gonna do. The other thing is I could just make a, make a bow and If I just made a bow out of um, the ribbon, I could just affix that with a, a glue dot. However, if you're transporting or doing anything with the box, that's apt to fall off. So I'm gonna go just like that. Now I could make this a dangling tag. I can punch a little hole right here. This is just an eighth of an inch hole punch that Stampin' Up! used to carry. We don't any longer. You can poke a hole with whatever you want in there. I'm going to bring in some of the gold trim. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to bring in a little piece of linen thread because it kind of goes with the wood look there. And just tie this in here. I'm going to tie a square knot, you know, left over right, right over left. Nate makes a square knot nice and no, left over right and right over no. <laughs> Right over left and left over right makes a square knot nice and tidy and tight. I know how to do it, I just don't know how to say it most of the time, so. So there we go. Or you could just glue this right down. And this is our eighth Sunday of Christmas. See you next week.